Hello friends, hello, hello. I'm Trey24k, and I'm going to show y'all how to farm raiders on labs in 12.9. I was the first player to get to level 70, and I currently have the most XP in the game, and the best way to do that is to farm raiders. So, what we're going to do is get a meta gear set, definitely rock TV 110 I like, the, okay, so look, I like the TV 110 but you can also use this here a rat rig. It's cheaper, but you can't put a grizzly in it. I just, I just like the grizzly. It, it makes my life easy, and I'm, uh, I'm very, I'm very simple. So it's just you know, hit four, use the grizzly, it heals everything, you know. So you're gonna want MDR with a voodoo. This is just, it's, it's the best gun in the game, and it's by far the best for farming raiders. This is just, it's, it's so good. And then you're gonna put M61 in it. You can use 993 if you have it, but like, just, just use M61. Don't use anything worse. Don't use M62. Definitely use M61 though. Okay, so M61 MDR. TV 110 or rat rig, right? Bring a shit ton of, I mean, I'm just going it offline. Usually I would do like probably one mag in the rig, uh, two stacks of ammo, two mags in the kappa or gamma or whatever you have. Definitely bring a serve kit because you get shot the heck up by these raiders. And also, also big important thing, red armband. Put it on 10 plus damage and you look like a super ultra omega pimp. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's up. Okay, so typically when you spawn into labs, my strategy when I was like super farming, I was farming like 500,000 XP a day on stream. Um, I would spawn in and try to kill. I'm just taking my headphones off, they're so loud. I would try to kill as many, um, like all the PMCs. I would rush spawn, so I'd probably take a route like this. I'd jump up, I'd check if anybody was going up over here, you know, run over, check parking button. Definitely just clear all the spawns first. Make sure you're not going to die to a player because if you die, the XP just won't be worth it in the end at all. So um, the most important thing in playing labs and not even just farming raiders is making sure you know what each button means, right? So if you get a parking button, it's not guaranteed to be open. It is this time, okay? So if I do hit this button, it's going to say why. It's going to say a bunch of Russian words and then why, right? Now the why is the indicator to mean that this is a parking, okay? Now hangar, which is over there, the indicator is B, okay? O, obviously, the indicator is O, which is under the server room. G is the boiler room in the basement, and she says G, you guess it. And then R, or main elevator, she says air, which is just R in Russian, right? So when I fight raiders in parking, you hit the button, they can spawn, uh, parking is really unpredictable. They can spawn an elbow, they can spawn an opposite elbow, they can spawn anywhere around here in mid, or they can spawn actually like in the, the mouth of the parking button, right? Okay, so much like parking, hangar, which is B, right? Uh, it's not guaranteed to be open. It's like, I I don't know the exact number. It's 50-50 it's around there, but when you're farming raiders, it feels like a lot less, let me tell you. So when you hit um, when you hit B or hangar, they can either spawn, much like parking, around there up top. Often they spawn in freezer through those doors. They can spawn up in manager's office, down in mid, in server, any, really, really anywhere around this area or in the actual little like funnel out of the hangar mouth itself okay so the o elevator much like g or air is always guaranteed to be open right so you can always hit this button i already hit it in this raid because i'm papega but <laughs> if the raiders do spawn from the button most of the time they spawn down this hallway okay so you can often just like sit here and shoot them or um or they will spawn up at freezer or literally anywhere on the map it's just a, it's a random kind of thing, but but mostly you're looking down this hallway all the way down at the end. Now, when you hit G button, typically they're going to spawn over here in dark or down the metal hall. It's also a little bit more often than than not they'll spawn up at freezer, but there's just uh, there's no way to tell. It helps having like another spotter, like a duo, to tell you where they spawn. What I like to do is hit the button and then just kind of listen for them to be walking on metal, or you peek all the way down this hallway. And be careful because these raiders can shoot through these great these great like uh, fences, and player bullets struggle to struggle to like register through. It's just like bad game design. But um, typically you can sit here for a minute, see if you hear them, and then do the whole pixel peek kind of thing on them and kill them pretty easily in the basement. So much like O and G buttons, the air button you can you can listen to what she says. Opens the main elevator. And often spawns raiders either right above you here in like the uh, reception area on labs or more often than not down here at this dead end. I like to hit the button, run over here and just kind of use this box to kill them. 
Sometimes they'll spawn back here in the metal hall, which is a really sketchy place to fight raiders because there's all like the great uh, fences and just weird, weird corners they like to sit in. So I like to avoid that or like kind of nade spam it to get info if they spawn back there. Or I'll just run up here and just kind of check this out. You can you can really use these tarps to your advantage because you can see their legs and they won't shoot you through the tarps or anything like that. So if you like see a raider's leg, you can, you know, they just head tap it through or something like that. It's um it's pretty easy to fight raiders in all of these spots, but the upstairs is where it gets it gets a little sketchy. So fighting raiders in the basement with the voodoo is really easy. You can kind of just jiggle peek. Contact. If they start shooting at you, definitely just back up. You want to use the voodoo. It. You really want to use the voodoo to your advantage, and you want to get headshots. Headshots is by far the best for XP. Bad guy. <laughs> So you can you can jiggle peek with the voodoo all day and they'll never kill you. Granada. You definitely just want to use the zoom you have to your advantage. Enemy spotted. The best thing you can do here. You see if you do this they can't see you and you can just headshot them right through the cracks of the doors you want to take advantage of pixel peaks on raiders to where you're getting a pixel on their body and they their ai is just not smart enough to see you so this door is really good you can just barely get like the crack of a doorway or something like this and just dome them from a really from a really far distance and there's like no chance they kill you so after i hit parking button i like to run out here and I always pre-aim this because for some reason, raiders like to spawn literally in front of your eyes right here at this corner that I'm aiming at. It is very, very weird, but they do it. So then I typically run over here. I listen to make sure that they're not spawning, you know, over here or anything like that. And then I'll just kind of jiggle peek this and see if they spawn in parking. Sometimes they won't spawn. Sometimes they will. See, like they're angry at me. So they spawned over at, at like front green and what I'll do is just go and I hold a cheeky angle. I mean really bad performance. Alright so they're kind of cracked right now. So what you want to do is never challenge a raider that's got aggro on you right? You're just going to kind of pace around get information and then if you're really careful here so you walk away. You really just you really just want to play it safe. Come on. So this one's angry at me, so I'm not gonna peek it. I'm definitely not gonna peek it. Just use the glass because they can't see through this glass, right? They won't be able to shoot you. Always just just take the long flank rather than actually challenging them if they're angry at you or yelling or something like that. So the smart thing to do would be to go over here. If you're really, really lucky, you can potentially get like a really cheap angle like that and headshot the raider through the glass where it has no shot of killing you. And then when they're down here in parking, what I'll do is run up here. Run across, there's about a hundred raiders down there, right? So what you're gonna do is just slow peek. You're gonna slow peek and never shoot them if they're moving. Just wait till they're still like that. See? You can pick them off really, really easily. Definitely just don't challenge because when they're strafing like that and walking, they will just clap you because they have no weapon sway or anything. They have all max skills. They're absolutely just, they're cracked. You're just gonna wanna sit, sit tight here. They love to go to this little truck area, right? Gonna slow peek, soft peek, right? Wait for them to stop. If he goes behind there, I like to throw a nade down there to kind of spook him. And that's exactly what you want to do. I would not hesitate to mag dump a raider because they will smoke you. This is just the best way to fight on parking. Go down and move them. Now for hanger, I like to hit it. I shoot the glass out right here, jump through. 
I like to kind of post up. So what I'll do is I'll first check that they didn't spawn back here because they do not often, but um, it is possible. It happens sometimes. And then while this is just super loud, I'll kind of sit here and jiggle peek this. And we're going to check if they spawned inside of um, inside of the hangar gates first. Now what I'm going to do is be careful they're not down here or up top hangar. Or going through these freezer doors because they'll spawn in all those areas as well. Now it's looking like they didn't spawn in here. So I'll check this. We got nothing. And then what I'm going to do first is check up at freezer. Careful, they'll sit in this corner a lot. It's really annoying. He's angry at me, so I'm gonna do his. Miss every shot. Okay, manager's office is really sus, okay? Because they will smoke you through the glass, right? And unless you have M61 and headshot them, you will never kill them. If you have 5.56 five, or 9.9, if you have anything that isn't M61 or 9.93, don't even think about shooting them in managers. Just cut your losses and, and don't die. Because this one just spawned in literally on top of me. So that's great. Often they'll nade themselves when they're in there. But what I'm going to do is just slowly say he killed himself. Nice. They start shooting at me, just be very careful. Enemy I'm gonna reload. <laughs> you just wanna hold safe angles, right? Where they're walking into your bullets. Okay. Like I said, managers is just it's just not good. I, I would try to refrain and also I'm in offline mode and there's a ton of raiders, so my frames are at like zero right now. <laughs> Better forgive me. Charlie. I don't know what that was. A raider was just like glitched out. Okay, and just after running around there in offline mode, just kinda tapping some raiders without even looting them. Um Typically what you want to do is at least tag F on their body so you get the search XP, which kind of adds up at the end of the raid, gives you some good multipliers and stuff. But just after running around there, 16 minutes, uh, showing you guys what's up, we got 56,000 XP. We had 23 raider kills. We had a few Thorax because we kind of sprayed when they spawned in on us because, you know, good game design. But um, it, it's if you can get 50,000 XP in a raid, you're you're pretty lucky. It's... um. It's it's good to shoot for like thirty thousand plus and just trying not to die because it's it's kind of grueling fighting the raiders. Their AI is super super broken.